Today, we are going to go over how to update a request through our online ticket revision or OTR process. If you need to revise a ticket you have previously submitted, begin by going to our website at bluestakes.org. Once on our website, click on the Locate Requests tab located at the top left of the page. There are multiple options provided. You may create a new ticket, revise existing ticket, or create a duplicate request. For the purpose of this training video, we will update an existing ticket. To do this, you must select Revise Existing Ticket. After making this selection, you will be brought to the Online Ticket Revision page which shows you all the options you can do on a ticket with a brief explanation. Please completely read through this and then select I agree if you are able to fully meet all of the requirements. After clicking I agree, you will need to enter the ticket number along with the main telephone number on the ticket. If you are an excavator who has a quick ticket account, the fields will auto fill in with your information once you click I agree. This is why it is critical to this process for all users within a company to use the same main company phone number when setting up their accounts. However, remember, this OTR application is not restricted just to quick ticket users. It is for the use of anyone to revise an existing request online. It is important to remember that the phone number must match the main phone number on the ticket or the system will not find the ticket. Once you have entered the ticket number and the main phone number, then enter your name and your email, and then select Get Ticket. Now that the ticket is pulled up, you'll be able to see all the options that are available for that particular ticket. You can see the full ticket view, which shows you in detail all the information that was on that original ticket, in this example, you can update the ticket. Please remember that when doing an update, to ensure the work type and scope of the excavation area applies to what you will be doing for the next time frame stretch. You can check the information on the request in the full ticket view. If the work type or the excavation area needs to be adjusted, you must create a new request. You can do a remark on the ticket, which means the markings have been destroyed due to weather or excavation and allows the locator's two full business days to come and remark those lines. Or you can cancel the ticket. If the ticket is expired, then the only option available will be to submit a new ticket. If selecting new through this OTR application, all ticket information will remain the same there will not be an option to change information. For this training video, we are doing an update, so we will click the Update button. This will take you to the Confirm Update Ticket page. This page will show you the ticket number, the phone number, the original legal update and expiration dates, along with the address and the work type. Please read the notes below the ticket information on this page. Please remember that if any information was added to the original ticket after it was submitted through a ticket revision, it will not be included on the update. If you need to change any information on this request, you must create a new ticket through normal processes, either our online applications or by calling our contact center at 811 or 801 208 2100 and selecting option 1 to speak with the customer service representative. If all the information is correct, select Submit Update Ticket. Please keep in mind that no information can be changed on this ticket. After submitting the update, you'll be taken to your confirmation page that shows you successfully submitted and updated your ticket. This will show your new ticket number and your new legal dates and time. 
please carefully read through all the notes at the bottom. You can click on Show Updated Ticket. This will give you a full view with all the details of your updated ticket. An email confirmation will be sent to you. These updated tickets through online ticket revision do not get processed through our contact center. They are automatically submitted to the appropriate utility members for marking. And that is how you update a ticket using our online ticket revision.